Hi guys, it's Jackie. It's Wednesday, May the 11th. Happy birthday to my brother-in-law, my ex-brother-in-law, Anthony. Um, just got in from my morning walk. You know I'm committed. I will work out. <laughs> so I'm enjoying myself. Today is two days after my father has gone on to be with the Lord. We're having his funeral on Friday. And I just wonder, is it just my family? Because on both sides, mom and pop, the family reunion is, is the funeral. We say it at every, fam at every funeral. Do not let the next time we all get together be for a funeral. Every side of my family has yet to not make that a habit. I don't know why. My dad had 12 children. And unfortunately, his wish was to have all of us together at one time where he could enjoy us. It never happened. 21 years ago, my sister died and 11 of them made it. I was not there because I was um, going through one of my miscarriages at that time. 21 years and got together. It's sad. Do not let the funeral be the family reunion, guys. My maternal side, same difference. We say it every time, and so far we have not done nothing. But I said life is for the living. Life is short. It goes forward. So we have to give God the praise, the glory, and the honor in everything. And what I am so happy about today is that on yesterday, someone who was coming to give their condolences to the family and, you know, just in remembrance of my dad, gave their life to Christ. So hallelujah, the angels in heaven rejoice and we rejoice with them because that's what it's all about. I know I, for my family, I'm sure others were doing it, but for me, that was my main thing for my dad. Do not worry about your past. Do not worry about what you have not done, what you did do. Condemnation doesn't belong to you. Remember, God, remember, Dad, that you are a king's kid. Remember the prodigal son. The son had went away, done everything wrong, but his dad was looking for him. His dad said that, I love you. He killed the fattest calf. He prepared a robe. Know that God is your father. So the same has happened. When you ask forgiveness, believe believe that you received that. That was my prayer for my dad his whole time. Unfortunately, he did do a lot of suffering. He was tormented, but I tell you the truth, I still saw strength in his torment during that time. So anybody who may have thought they would find joy in it, know that he is with the Savior no matter what you think, because none of us are, you know, righteous. None of us are perfect. God is wonderful. God is awesome hey Daniel um not sure <laughs> um not sure if I watch you sweetie but I'm grateful that you joined me today but yeah that was one thing it's like do not sit back and try to marvel in somebody else's pain because we read what we sow so anybody who may have wanted to see him you know suffer then guess what you have sold that into your life too I wanted for him and I made sure for me I know others did too but I made sure for him that he went hi Sharonica thank you for joining me I made sure my dad remembered that he is a king's kid remember repentance remember that he is saved that your father in heaven still loves you none of us are perfect we all have sinned and come short it says our righteousness is as filthy rags none of us can claim anything greater and like I said the life on yesterday the soul that is now restored to the father so daddy you did wonderful you helped bring people in still so we thank God for that so I don't know about you but like I said unfortunately 12 of of us will be well we came together Saturday but my dad didn't you know wasn't able to enjoy it with us but I pray that we will not continue to make funerals the family reunion now again I walked out today you know I said I will work out I've got this uh on I've been walking the area bridges I love it anyway that's my easy exercise get me to do the other stuff <laughs> that's enough but I am still doing the abs guns and buns uh, challenge it's my cover photo if you want to um, join in with us we have squats leg lifts and uh, push-ups 
So we're working on our arms, working on our stomach areas and our legs. But remember, just take it one day at a time. You know my mantra, change your mindset, change your habits, change your life. So I'm changing my life. And look, the one thing that I get to get from my dad, because I'm the only one in the family. Yeah, I can see that. It's a diabetes. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> So I'm walking it out. I'm getting my health back on track because I want to live the abundant life and we have to live it while God has given it to us. So just remember, forgive people, love on people just like God does us. We're imperfect, but oh my God, he loves us so very much. I want you guys to be blessed. Enjoy your day. Jackie Carter, I'm out.